Hi kids, Heidi here. How are you today? I'm here with a quick little haul. I realized it was Tuesday and Tuesday's one of my upload days and normally I'm way ahead of the game and now I'm not. So it's Tuesday evening and I have an appointment at eight o'clock to watch television with my husband. And if Keegan the teen reseller ever watches this, I will give him a good laugh. Maybe I should tell him to watch it just so he knows I shouted him out. Anyway, I have a quick haul. Um, it's senior day, so I went to Goodwill. I didn't get to go to the one I wanted to in that other town that I told you about last time. I told you about that, right? Next week, maybe, we had an appointment in a different town. So I went to my local Goodwill, and I hadn't been there for a couple weeks, so it was a good senior day. And I'm putting the best item near the front so that you don't skip out at eight minutes like you normally do and um, miss the good thing if I saved it for the end. So let's get started. Um, I was in the men's and the ladies, but I found more in the women's section. So this, oh, we can have a quick men's shorts lesson. So these are camo hybrid shorts from Dahui. So Dahui is a surf brand company. There's a little surfboard. And here's what the name label looks like, D-A-H-U-I. Dahui. But, um, the, well, if you don't believe me, these are hybrid shorts. Right here it says the hybrid collection. <coughs> so, for men's shorts to wear in the water, we've got swim trunks. Let's set aside the tight fitting Speedos. Let's just set that aside. So, then we've got swim trunks, which typically have an elastic waist, maybe a drawstring, maybe a fly but usually a full fly. <laughs> Boy, if a man doesn't know he's got a full fly and then suddenly finds out. Anyway, swim trunks um, typically have a little bit shorter inseam, and of course they could come in any pattern. And they've got that mesh brief inside. You know what that's for. So anyway, swim trunks. Then we have board shorts, which have been around a long, long time, I guess. Um, a Hawaiian couple started making them in the 60s. But they are longer to provide more protection for the skin against all the dangers of surfing. And um, they typically have both a hook and loop closure and a, a, drawstring, a lace at the, a lace right here, right? It doesn't, it's not a drawstring, but it's a lace and ties and then hook and loop closure. And so board charts are typically longer don't have the mesh lining and have that kind of combination of a lace and a tie. They don't want their shorts falling off in the surf. Who can blame them? Then we have what's um, called the hybrid short, which they're made of fabrics that can get wet and dry quickly. This is not a great example because it's camo, but a lot of hybrid shorts will be, they look almost like a golf short. They'll have a very muted plaid or a nice solid color and they're shorts that you could wear at the beach and get wet, and then they'll dry really quickly, and then you could go have dinner. That's their intended purpose. So they're styled like a walking short or a Bermuda short, but they're made of fabrics more like a performance short or an athletic short. Um, usually board shorts are much thicker, almost like a ripstop fabric, whether that's cotton or a cotton blend or an nylon blend. And um, swim trunks can be made of almost anything from knit polyester to, and there we go with the Speedo thing again. But these are hybrid shorts from Dahui. I like that brand. I can usually get 20 to 25, and I paid about $4 for these. So, and camo. Some guys do love their camo. So, if you're not sure what to call it, I call things with mesh liner swim trunks. Uh, longer leg ones without a liner, board shorts, hybrid shorts. Could you wear them golfing if they weren't wet? Could you wear them to dinner or lunch, you know, near the beach? Then they're hybrid. Okay, here's my find of the day. I paid $6 minus 20%. So that would be $1.20 off. I'm not doing that math. Four eighty? Yeah, there we go. So they are Lauren Ralph Lauren suede pants with a lace 
detail all the way down the side, both sides. Real pretty brown, it got seams at the knees, which is nice, because if you've ever worn leather pants, I tried it only once, they're kind of hard to move in. So having this seam here changes the grain of the fabric right at the knee so you can actually bend your leg and sit down. And they're just, you know, as soft as you would expect Ralph Lauren suede pants to be. They're a size 14 and they're completely lined in acetate. Exterior, 100% suede. So let's look at the leg. They're a straight leg, but they're not skinny. Aren't these neat? If somebody wanted suede pants. So I have no idea what to list them for. I've seen, um, there's not a lot of comps, either for sale or sold. And people are asking anywhere between 40 and $200. And it looks like people have gotten anywhere between 40 and $100. So if you had a pair of suede pants, what would you list them for? If you like the smell of leather. Hmm. Okay. So normally I spend a lot of my spring stocking up on golf skirts, and I just can't find any. I think I talked about it too much two years ago, and the whole reseller community got in on the action, and now everybody's picking up all the good golf skirts, and I can't find any. Fortunately, I am able to find some linen. Well, you look at that. There's a button missing. I'm sure I will find two buttons. If I really wanted to board you, we could get out my button bag. My daughter made this bag. Isn't it cute? And she embroidered on it. Anyway, should I look right now for two gray buttons? I'm not going to find one that matches the one that's there, but with any luck, I won't have to go to the store. Anyway, what did I find? Tahari. Um, I typically don't get, but it's linen. And they are nice. Straight leg. Linen pants. What size? 14. In a pretty gray color with pockets all the way around. So, once I fix the button. Pants typically don't have a spare button. Wade shirts do. That's a tragedy. This is cool. It's a men's shirt. You're not going to be able to see. Oh, yeah, you can see pretty good. Cool. K-U-H-L. And this is what I typically spot when I'm out shopping. Is there a little mountain on a shield? And it's a men's long sleeve polo. This is called the Wild Fiber. Cool either has names printed inside like their pants or they have a style number. And then you can Google it. And I should get about 25. Somebody will be offering me less, but if I wait until winter, I'll get more. So here's one of my favorites. This was just hiding out between two really ugly Blair tunic tops. It's smart wool. It's a women's pullover. Really wild pattern. Hoodie. A very lightweight hoodie. And um, oh. it's from the January of 2018. 87% merino wool and 13% nylon. So have to find smart wool. It's a really nice lightweight hoodie. It'd be a great base layer under a under a down jacket or something, or a vest even in the in the fall. Um, I should get about thirty five for that. This is a dress. So I had that crazy day where I went through the dress rack at one of the Goodwills and I found a bunch of dresses and I have sold a couple of them. So it gives me hope. So. This is a maxi dress, like an off-the-shoulder thing with a little tie and then an elastic waist and then the skirt and it has a slit up the back and it is Band of Gypsies, which at one time I think I would have been very excited to find, but now I suspect that if I found it, it's probably not good anymore. Anthropology was it when I started reselling five years ago. If you found anthropology, you found $40. If you found something amazing, you found $60. 
Well, by the time Heidi started finding anthropology, it was, you know, you had to beg people to give you 15 or 20. So I'm warning you, if you thought Band of Gypsies was good, not anymore. I think I'll probably get 25 or 30 for this maxi dress, but it's perfect for someone to wear to a wedding, I think. Same with, same with when I found the Alice and Olivia shirt. Just letting you know. You might want to dump that stuff before it turns on you. Here's another Lauren Ralph Lauren piece. I just thought it was so cute. It's a gingham zip-up jacket. And it's kind of feels windbreakery. So maybe it's a rain jacket. But were you ever that stylish in the rain? I don't think so. I just thought it was cute. And somebody, I mean, somebody over 40, obviously, is going to want that for... $30? What do you think? This is, I passed up a whole bunch of Title IX today, but this was a cute one that I might try on. Is that a good color for me? Who knows? Very, very soft. It's just a kind of a, well, it's a long sleeve t-shirt is what it is. But I'm going to try it on if it doesn't, if I don't like it, I'll sell it. Um, used to get more for Title IX too. You can still get good for their sweaters or off skirts or, you know, golf clothes. I don't know. I don't know. I found today it was a lot of t-shirts and I wasn't going to buy them. So here is Vince and it's a size small. So there's not a lot going for it, but it's a cashmere cardigan and it was um, $4.00. Kind of a cute style. Not doesn't doesn't button all the way down, if you know what I mean. I light is dancing around and doing weird things. I hope it's not bothering you as much as it's bothering me. Okay, now here's your warning about free people. I find I used to find free people about once every three or four months, and um, a couple of years ago I could find those waffle those waffle Henleys with the with the fancy cuffs on them. Found a three or four of those over the years, but really not a lot of free people. If I found it, it was like, this is free people? It doesn't even look like free people. That's how old it was. And then now I'm finding it more often. And today, I found three pieces. I bought them all, but if you're a lover of selling free people, you just need to be on guard. Heidi is finding it now, so it must be on the wane. First thing I found, I'm gonna to have to put some work into. This is called the Misha, I gotta click on something over here, it tells me what it is. The Misha Burnout Velvet Dress. There were a lot of these sold in black. A lot for still for sale in black. But this is definitely not black. And it's got a, it's velvet, and the burnout, where the velvet is missing, is patterned, printed with the floral. Okay, so here's the velvet and here's the floral. And so you can see through it. It's an interesting thing to call a burnout, but they're calling it a burnout. And then it ties in the back and has a V below the tie. And it has a little elastic cuff. So I'm hoping, there haven't been any orange ones for sale for a couple of years. I'm hoping I'll get 40 if somebody wants to wear that to some sort of summer event. Free people. Heidi's finding it. I found one piece that was trash, but it was um, marked way down, so I got it anyway. Is this the one that's trashed? Yeah. I'm just going to experiment and see if I can fix this. It's covered with snags, and it said $4.99, but it was on a rack that said a dollar. So... It's a ratty looking thermal with no fancy cuffs, but way stretchy and oversized, of course, with raw seams and it's only the free. So it's covered with snags. I, can I cut them off or pull them through? What will happen if I do? We might as well talk about the other free people. Also we the free, also kind of a thermal, but this one is it's probably an extra small, what do you think? 
<clears throat> no, it's a medium. Makes people feel good about themselves, doesn't it? I could wear a medium. Me and my husband could wear this. So we'll find out what that's called. It only has a few fuzzballs and not too many snags. So what do you think about my free people? I know. You might think that's not cutting edge free people, Heidi. There's still good stuff to be had and that's not it. Okay, when I start getting the really good stuff, then you'll know it's time to get out of that market. So as this, for some reason, Eileen Fisher, I always have to repair the tags. So here's Eileen in a kind of fuchsia magenta. This is also very wide. This is also big enough for a family of four to live in and it's a size small. And it's a, got one of those, it's, I call these cocoon sweaters because you, you put your little arm in there and then the sweater just hangs around. And it's a v-neck. And um, I hope that it's made out of something good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's merino wool. But it's very soft, so it's nice merino wool. So, if there's any shaving to be done, that will be fun time. That's the thing I miss about summer. This thing is kind of baffling me, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. It's Vineyard Vines. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. It's got this little whale. Well, you know, the whale. But he's wearing a visor, uh, board shorts, um, a Hawaiian shirt, and a fanny pack. And he's all tied up. And it says E-D-S-F-T-G. Isn't he cute? The best part is, there he is big on the back. And so I actually looked up on eBay, Vineyard Vines E-D-S-F-T-G, and other things were sold. But, boy, does he have everything summer. A visor, sunglasses, a Hawaiian shirt, a fanny pack, and board shorts. What, can anybody tell me what E-D-S-F-T-G is? And if it's something to do with selling toner, and this is their annual conference, I'm going to be very disappointed. My last piece is a brand that was new to me, but when I looked it up, people seemed to be asking a lot of money for their stuff. And I have to wash it and depill it. But the brand is Style or Steel. Oh, that's not... There we go, steel. I can show you that someplace else better. Steel. But it felt like really nice material. And then I noticed it had thumb holes and it says UPF 50. So I thought, okay, this could be like a rash guard hoodie, an outdoorsy kind of thing. And I couldn't really decide if it was men's or women's. When I looked it up, um, they make both, but this is an extra small. Is that an extra small men's or women's? There's something on the, yeah, there's a mark on the hood there, but um, I'm shockingly good at getting out stains. So have you heard of steel or style? Just really nice fabric, some sort of outdoor watery I don't know but I'm gonna learn about it and find out if this is men's or women's extra small because if it's meant to be fitted then it's a men's but if it's meant to be loose like a you know like a a loose fitting shirt you would wear at the beach so you're not hot right you don't want something sticking to you then it's a women's I don't know what to think? That's the end. How many things did I get? I didn't even count. Was anybody counting? 15. <laughs> yeah, I spent about $5 on each one. So, that's my haul. That's my pile. I had a great time. I really appreciate you watching my videos. And, um... Not mocking me in the comments. If you want to mock me in the comments, go ahead, I can take it, and it's good for my engagement, and will bump up my numbers. I really appreciate you coming. I had a good time. See you in the next one. Bye, kids.